is your boy Flacco Gaming, and welcome to another episode of Repair That Rush. And today is gonna be a good day because we got five builders available again. Second time in a row, we got five builders available, and we got plenty of gold to spend and a few elixir. But we're gonna begin by attacking. Well, we're gonna begin by upgrading some of the walls. Then we're gonna go ahead and attack and get some of that. Get some of that loose. So we can start upgrading our stuff. But first things first, I think let's go to the laboratory. Always go to the laboratory. If we have enough elixir, let's go ahead and start maxing all our troops. Let's go ahead and begin with the wall breaker. One, two, three. Bam, got it. So now we got the wall breaker upgrading. That's out of the way. So now we got five builders available. And we still got plenty of loot to go. Let's go ahead by upgrading some of the walls. Let's start from where the town hall is at. The walls around it. I think we can upgrade. I think we're gonna have enough to upgrade all of them. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure we, we do. We got one left on this side. The other side is a whole, well, another half. Half of, half of the square we got left. We still got, what's that? Three, three million gold. No, not, not the balloon. Okay. One wall left here. We still got three over here. Okay, walls. One, two, three, four, and what? Well, five and six, actually. So now we upgraded the inside. We got. It's starting to get a lot better. We got. We're starting to get them purple walls. So, uh, we got two million gold left. I think we're gonna. Let's go ahead and attack. Cause I'm not sure how much loot we're gonna use up by upgrading the stuff. Cause I think I'm gonna go all defense on this episode. I'm gonna get all the defense. So let's go ahead and look for a match. Do a couple attacks. Let's see what how much loot we get. That town hall wasn't that good. I mean, it wasn't it didn't have enough loot? Didn't want to bother it. Defense was so low, but didn't want to bother it because they don't have loot. I don't want to waste an attack there. So let's go ahead and keep looking, keep searching for another good base. Okay, this base is good. I just found a good base. About the same, almost, well, a little bit. Defense, the defense is higher level than mine, but 300,000 worth of loot on gold and elixir. Let's see where, okay, they got gold storage over here and elixir storage. We might get a little bit. It might not be a lot, but we might get a little bit of loot. But let's go ahead and attack it from right here. I think that should be enough of the barbarians. I don't think I need more. Okay, because from there, those people are going to go to the right. The elixir storage is on inside. This mortar, the good thing about that mortar is get, is getting is getting all good, so I don't gotta worry about that. So let's go ahead and set out some of my barbarians right here. Take out the gold, the gold mines and the elixir collectors. I'm about to find a way to break into the wall. Hopefully the king burn king will go up and break through the wall so I can send all my troops in there. Yep, and he is. Let's go ahead. I'm gonna put I'm gonna activate the ability. Breakthrough. I'm gonna put some barbarians as well. So they can take out the cannon, the archer tower, and the wizard tower. So that way we can go ahead and take out the elixir. And hopefully work the way to the gold mine. But the gold mine's on the other side. But I think we should be fine. Put a rage spell. Just send in my choose. I'm just gonna send in my choose to in here. Hopefully they go in there. Okay, my brains as well. Okay, so they took out. They pretty much took out all my troops at the moment. Let's see what we can get. We won't get a town hall. So the town hall don't give us a lot of loot. Well, I'm hoping to get a town hall. I'm not sure. It looks like we might, but we might not. The mortar is pretty high level. But the good thing about this one, we got we got most of the elixir, so that's pretty good. Okay, let's go ahead and let's just surrender the battle. We got over 100,000 elixir. We're, we're good with that. We got some elixir. We didn't get gold, but elixir is still fine. Train, let's go ahead and go for another. Well, my brain king is gonna rest. So, like I said, the first attack we always gonna go in with the barbarian king. The second attack, uh, no, nah, I don't want to use two of the gems either. They just boot. All right, guys, after time of searching, I managed to find a good base with a lot of gold over 400,000 gold. Let's go ahead and spread out the barbarians as always. And this side of the wall, with well, this side of the town hall. They, they left they left the gold storage outside so right there we're gonna get quick loot but i'm gonna send in all my barbarians at the same time so i can break through the wall 
and then I'm gonna spread out my arches in this area over here because there's some more gold mines over here. And we should manage to get that gold mine and put the race spill where the barbarians are at. See, just see how effective they're gonna be here. But for sure, the arches are gonna be spread out in this area. I'm gonna have to put some in there as well. Let's let me put them in there. Take out that air defense and hopefully work the way to the elixir collect the elixir storages and maybe take out the the town hall as well. So they so far they're, they're pretty effective. But the gold is what I really need. Mm, it's not going so good for me at the moment. We didn't get that much loot. We only managed to get about 80,000 gold, which is not a lot. I gotta rethink my strategy. Let's go ahead and end the battle. Okay, we're not getting, we're not doing so good on these attacks. But we still get the star bonus up. So that helped out a lot. Let's go ahead and collect the star bonus. We're sitting at, well, it's still not a lot of, it's still not a lot of loot. It's still good, but not too much. Put some troops to train. I think I'm at the gym, the army. 14 gym it. Alright guys, this I'm not gonna fight y'all this time. This is for another another attack. Let's go ahead. Okay, first search in and I found a good decent base. But yet again the defense was what has been taking my troops out. Okay, but they got a Gormar outside, Elixir Collector outside. I'm gonna have to skip this one. That one doesn't have enough decent loot that I need. I need more loot than that. Okay, this one's good. The, the gold mines are outside over here. And that's where most of the loot is at. The gold mine is full. So let's go ahead and spread out my burns over here. And I'm going to spread some out down here as well. And my archers, so I can take out that gold storage. Let me see what we're going to do right here with the barbarians down here. Hopefully the arches are effective and take out the gold storage. So I spread them all out. You know, let me see how much damage they can do. It's just those, those troops. Mm. Okay, I'm about to spread out more barbarians as well. Let's take out this good man as well. Come on, barbarians, I got this. Now let's spread out these arches. These little arches are gonna do enough damage. I'm pretty sure we're gonna get that one star. We already have 40%. These arches are gonna do pretty good amount of damage and we managed to get that one star. So I'm gonna just drop a rage spell as well right here. Let me see what they do. I'm gonna put the poison spell where the barbarian king is at. They might take him out pretty fast. Hopefully they can work their way in and take and get out and get that elixir storage as well. Hopefully get the dark elixir, but that's not the main goal. But if they get it, it's fine. If they don't, it's it's cool. We don't really need it. So they're gonna work their way. They're probably gonna take out the cannon. And maybe the elixir, the elixir storage as well. There goes the cannon, and there goes the elixir storage. So we're gonna get a lot of elixir. We just missed that one gold storage over here in the far end. We managed to get over almost two hundred thousand worth of loot. My attacks hasn't been on point in this video, but we can work with it. Let's see. Let's see what we can upgrade. Let's check on the builder. Suggestions are. Wizard Tower, which is going to take out most of my loot. Tesla's, and that's pretty much it. It's the same thing over and over. But I'm going, go to, I'm going to go with the cannon. I'm going to max out the cannons and the archers first. Let's go ahead with this cannon, with this archer. We have enough because it's cheaper and we might and we should have enough gold to start upgrading everything. Let's go ahead and upgrade this archer as well because it's a low level archer. Let me see my cannons at level 7. Let's go ahead and go with that one. And for the last one, I think we're gonna get this mortar. Yeah, let's go. Uh, let's upgrade this mortar. So for the next episode, we still okay. We still live with nine hundred ninety-six thousand worth of gold out of the three million we had, three point seven million we had. Wasn't straight. I forgot. Also, guys, once a month, Supercell always puts some clan games, and it's always cool to do clan games. Here are the challenges you gotta complete. Every challenge you complete, you get a certain amount of trophies. Where you score actually, you get a certain amount of points or scores. Then you go to the clan. Okay, right now I'm in this clan, only one person can do it. But the rewards are depending on how many points you get. You get you just say I just say I happen to get two thousand points and I get the the first row of awards, I unlock it and any one of my clan can get it. But the only way to get it from my other clan is that they'll they'll complete one challenge at least and then they're gonna be able to get 
whatever rewards were unlocked. But depending on the people you had, depending how many, how, how much, how much score points you put up, that's what was going to determine the rewards. So you might actually get fifty thousand score points. That's gonna you pretty much gonna get all the rewards. Which is pretty. I mean, it's been done in my other class several times, but it's, it is hard. And also one thing too. Also, also guys. Well, I think that's pretty much it for today. I don't, I don't got any more news for y'all. But either way, guys, we managed to all get some few walls, all get some defense, and that's pretty much the progress we've been making on this video so far. So it's been good. We've been making pretty good progress, and we're we're pretty much close to maxing out. I give it about. Let me say I make two episodes of these a, a week. I'll get about maybe anywhere from 20 to 30 episodes more, and we should be maxed out to Hall Eight. Anyway guys, this pretty much wraps up this this episode of Repair That Rush. And please guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope you enjoy my videos and I will see you guys next time.